Hey guys. Hey chosen generation. Hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing tonight on this Sunday night? How are you guys doing? Oh, I pray that you have had a blessed day. It's late. It's about a little bit after nine, but I wanted to come on and just chit chat with you for a little bit. It's it's been a great day today. The weather has been kind of really hot and muggy, but it's been a great day. You know, I told you guys before, I love the heat. So the heat is it's fine for me. I, I, I enjoy it. But anyway, welcome to all my subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. I love you guys. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me give you a hug. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Chosen Generational family. If you are viewing and for, for your first time, my name is Nee. And on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, prophetic word, a scripture, or whatever he gives me to say, I come on and I say it. So welcome. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button to help the algorithm on my channel i appreciate it so much guys i tell you this is the day that the lord has made and let us rejoice and be whoo, whoo, glad in it i'm holding the phone guys so it may move a little bit let us rejoice and be whoo, 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 glad in it amen that's my happy sound if you guys are here for the first time you will hear me do that from time to time that is my happy sound Guys, guess what? You, I wanted to come on here and tell you about what happened to me today. It was very, it was, you know, just a little experience with a fly. I was in the bathroom, and I know that sounds funny, right? A fly? Yes, a fly that had been nagging me. And he came in through the door some kind of way, I guess a couple of days ago, and he's been in here ever since. So he kept nagging me and nagging me, and I said, you know what? I... I I said, I don't have a fly swatter, so, you know, so I said, I can't really get him because I don't have a really fly, a fly swatter. So I said, you know, um, when I tried to get him, I couldn't get him um, because he kept going around my ear, then buzzing in my ear, buzzing in my ear, flying around, the, um, flying around the bathroom. So I said, OK, so I figured he was gone because I hadn't seen him in a while. And lo and behold. I seen him again. I seen him again was yesterday. Okay. And I said, you know what? <laughs> no, you're still here. Oh, you're still here. And he started buzzing around my face. He went around. He buzzed around my face. He went in my ear. He kept going around my face. I was trying to put my makeup on. He was going around my face. I said, oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. And then he just kept right on, kept right on, kept right on. I said, you know what? I said, enjoy yourself. Because I was trying to get him, but I couldn't get him. I was trying to hit him with like a, a piece of paper. And um, I said, I, I can't get him with this. You know, I, the more I tried to get him, he, he just kept, he has so much energy. Like, you know, some of those flies, they'd be so sluggish and you could tell they about ready to die. But then this fly, he has so much energy. Like somebody had gave him some pork chops and, and some uh, chitlins or something. So he would just, oh, he would have so much energy. He was almost like he was doing flips. I said, really? So I said, I got you, boo though. I got you. So I went. I said, I'm going to go to the dollar store, and I'm going to go get me some um, fly, fly squatter. So I went there, and I got me two of them. And nowadays, guys, I tell you, when you buy them, they come with pretty flowers on them. They're not even the same like they used to be. Like back in the day, you get a plain old fly swatter. It ain't got nothing on it. Now you go to the dollar store and get one. They got these big, beautiful flowers on them and stuff. And I'm like, really? Like, I don't even really want to use this because this is so pretty. So anyway, to make a long story short, I came back. And today I was in the bathroom again. And sure enough, Mr. Fly wanted to come back again and fly around my face. And fly in my ears. And just keep right on flying around. And I said, oh, you're back. And I said, oh, I got something for you. Keep right on flying. So I went and I got, I went in my pantry and I got the fly swatter. And I came back and um, 
he, he came back out. He was he was still flying around. I tried to hit him and tried to kill him. And he, he, he just kept right on flying, 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 flying. I said, oh, okay, you want to play a game? Okay. So I couldn't get him. I kept trying to hit him. I couldn't get him. And then he finally, you know, I thought I was going to get him, but he ended up going up into the light over my mirror in the bathroom. He went up into the light. And I was like, where did he go? He was real quiet with it. And I said, could it be possible that he's playing a game with me? I said, I know flies are not that intelligent. And he could not be playing this game with me. But he was acting like he was playing the game with me. I said, because you know why? He knows his time is short. Because he's getting ready to get killed. So he finally came out. And I said, oh, you were behind the light. So I tried to hit him with the fly squatter and I, I kept, I took me like about maybe four times to really get him because he was just so, like I said, he had so much energy. Like he had pork chops and he had some chitlins or something and he was just doing all these flips. So I finally was able to get him as he sat on the light. He sat on my light. I said, oh, damn. And he fell. I said, yes. And in that instant, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about that situation. And that's something that's, you know, but you know, the Holy Spirit, that's what he does. And he began to speak to me in that situation. He said, you know, even in the things of this life, the trials and the tests that we go through, how we handle it is how the outcome of it is. Just like you went and you went the extra yard to get that fly squatter. He said, you know, you could have just said, okay, I'm going to try to get him when I get him. But you said, you know what? Uh-uh. What I'm trying is not working. Let me go out to the store and get something that I know for sure I'm going to kill him. The same thing is with the enemy. When he comes against your mind and when he comes against your finances and when he comes in your home and tries to tear up your marriage and try to tear up your relationship with your kids, God is saying, go get the thing that you need to get. To tear his throat out of his out of his body. Do what you got to do to tear him up. Do what you got to do to destroy him. Do what you got to do and what it takes. And what does it take? The word of God. Like I said, sometimes things come with fasting and praying. Whatever, prayer always. But I'm saying fasting. Sometimes we got to fast. We got to take what do whatever it takes. Turn that plate down to make sure that the enemy the yoke is broken. Amen. Make sure the yoke is broken. And sometimes we try to like, okay, I pray. Okay. You know, um, that was, you know, I did, I did pray. I said, Lord, help me, help me. Lord. No, God wants us to really, sometimes you have to go deep into prayer and consistently. You don't just pray one time and say, Lord, da, 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 da. You consistently pray until that yoke is broken. And if that don't, is that, if, if God begins to speak to you about fasting, you fast, you know, turn your plate down. Whatever it takes. Now, I could have let that fly keep flying around here and getting on my nerves. He was buzzing in my ear. He probably would have ended up coming in my bedroom and going in my ear while I was asleep and, and, buzz, and buzzing. But I said, uh-uh. I said, no, your time is up. Your time is up. And the same thing with the enemy. When I, you know, as I was saying to him, your time is up. I was thinking about the enemy, how he knows his time is up pretty soon. And he knows that he don't have much longer because these are the last days and God is moving quickly. God is moving quickly. So even in that scenario, you know, the Holy Spirit was giving me how even in that, that fly, he was doing all this stuff and he was playing like, oh, he thought he was going to get away from me. But I said, oh, no, I didn't get you that first couple times I tried to get you with the paper. I couldn't get you. But I'm going to go out and get something even more that's when I know for sure that I know how to work. You know, I know how to work that, that fly spot. I'm going to get you. And I got him. Hey, I got him. I killed him. I killed that fly. And you need to kill, we need to kill every single demonic demon that tries to come into our lives and tries to take over and tries to destroy anything that God has blessed us with. And how do we destroy it? With the word of God. How do we destroy it? 
by fasting and praying. How do we destroy it? By meditating on the word of God, listening to the voice of God, letting, allowing him to direct us, lead us, guide us. Not man, not people, not cousin, not, not auntie, not, not brother, okay? Not sister, okay? Not the pastor, not apostle, okay? Not my co-workers, not the child that I grew up with when I was five years old. None of those people, but the Holy Spirit, not prophetic, sister, prophetess, whoever. It's God that will speak to you and direct you and lead you and guide you as we go through tests of life and as we uh, uh, fight the good fight of faith, as the Bible says. It's a good fight, you know? It's a good fight. It's not bad. It's a good fight. And it's okay because guess what? We are more than conquerors. Through him that loves us and are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. It's so good to serve a good God, a merciful God, a God that has our best interests at heart. Okay? He has our best interests at heart. Amen? And I know the phone is moving a little bit, guys, but I want you to get the gist of what I'm saying. The main thing is, is that fight the good fight of faith. Use whatever it takes. Use the word of God. Use prayer. Use everything. Come at him with everything you got. Okay? Rip his throat out and do whatever it takes to fight the good fight of faith. Okay? It's a spiritual thing. It's not physical. It's spiritual. But guess what? That was physical, of course. Um, That was, you know, of course, me killing the, killing the fly. But I'm talking about spiritually. We got to use the word of God. We got to pray. We got to fast. We got to do whatever it takes to fight these demonic spirits. You know, one day you may be, you know, um, you may come home from work and you may say everything was good before I left. And then all hell broke loose when you come through the door and you say, well, where did this come from? How, what, what's going on? You know, your husband was OK early, but now he acting like he kind of acting kind of strange, you know, and your, and your kids were OK. But now all of a sudden, you know, they want to act up. You're saying, well, what's going on? Then you go to work and you, you, your manager, they, they acting up. They acting like they, they, they just want to, you know, give you more work on you and, and ain't paying you no more money. You know, one thing after another. But God is saying, fight the good fight of faith. Be encouraged and stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Stay in, stay in the word. Stay fasting. If you got to fast, whatever it takes. Okay? Whatever it takes. I love you guys. Be encouraged. I just wanted to come on and talk about the fly that was annoying me and getting on my nerves. and You know what I mean? And I just wanted to talk about it because the Holy Spirit gave me that scenario. And he said to come on and talk about it. Because it's, you know, it's, it's something that, okay, it may not be a scripture that I'm reading right now. But it's something that happened that we can still relate to. And it's always good to take um, natural life experiences and related to the word. Amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. He is working everything out for you. Okay. No matter what it looks like, God is working for you. Hallelujah. Let me have a word of prayer for you. Father, I thank you for each one under the sound of my voice. I ask that you will meet them where they are. I bind you, Satan, every demonic work that will come against their homes, come against their, their mind, making them feel low, depressed, suppressed. I curse it to the root. I find I bind it up in the name of Jesus. Father, you said whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever I loose on earth is loose in heaven. And I speak peace to their mind. I speak peace to their spirit. And I thank you, Father, for pulling down every stronghold right now. I thank you that you're a good father and that you love your children. And nothing, hallelujah, shall by any means hurt us. Because you said that you are protecting us, we, your people, in Jesus' name. And I thank you that it is done by faith. Amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I will talk to you real soon.